Joining us now to discuss is former Army Reserve Captain and Arizona Congressional Candidate Abe Hamida, along with retired U.S. Army Lieutenant and President of the London Center for Policy Research, Tony Schaefer. Uh, Abe, let's yeah. start with you. Uh, your reaction to this drone strike, do you think this will only bolster Hamas's resolve to fight even more violently against Israel? Well, I think it's going to bolster the region. And if you look at Iran's response to this, why is Iran putting out a press release regarding a Hamas terrorist being uh, killed in, in Beirut? Well, it's because Iran is behind all of what's happening in the Middle East. They're behind the Houthis, who are disrupting the commer global commerce in the region. They're behind Hezbollah, who's going to escalate attacks now, especially that there was a strike in Lebanon. And they're also, with, with Hamas, they're on the rise because of their ties with Qatar and, and everything going on. So. You know, the, the Middle East is in a very dangerous situation, but it's all it's being led by this Biden administration's failures, because who is controlling what's happening with our foreign policy right now? It doesn't seem to be the United States. It seems to be Iran and Iranians government. So this is what's so scary about what is happening right now. It's not only affecting our allies like Israel, but it's also disrupting the global commerce trade across the world. Well, Colonel, let's expand on that yeah. here. If Iran puts right. out a press release, we're Israel's um, <clears throat> biggest ally in the region. So what should our response be to I Iran? So if Iran is backing Hamas, we're backing Israel. What should the Biden administration do, though, is Abe just pointed out, likely not going to be uh, the right choice. All things considered, it should be a massive uh, use of military force to first off actually give some teeth to Operation uh, uh, Protect uh, Commerce, Protect uh, Prosperity. Uh, right now, uh, three NATO allies dropped out of that. So that's the first thing. You fix that. Now, right now, the Israelis are doing very well. They've actually announced a change of tactics. Bob, what they did here is go on at least part of their tactics to be more aggressive. There's a lot of nations and organizations giving aid and comfort to Hamas, to include Hezbollah. They're talking right now, and, and, and Benjamin Netanyahu has said that they're going to take this to the Hamas leadership. Right answer. And this is the first step in that direction. So the Biden administration should be saying the very things we're talking about here, using strength to back off the, the Iranians against 12 percent of global commerce, Bob, that goes through the Red Sea, and doing things to, uh, to support the, uh, the uh, Israeli allies in a way to allow them to do what they need to to, to eliminate Hamas leadership. Abe, what do you think this will do to the hostage situation? Do you think this will push talks or release back? Uh, look into your crystal ball for us here. Well, it's it's so sad what's going on and just seeing some of the stories coming out with the released hostages. Well, it's only made the release of the hostages more critical, but Hamas understands uh, the leverage that they hold right now. So I think the price is only going to increase and you know, they keep, there's been talks about ceasefires, but Hamas doesn't seem interested in a ceasefire at all. They're willing to bring Gaza to the ruins to, in order to uh, have their agenda go forward with, you know, they, they don't want peace with Israel. They, they want, they always keep claiming from the river to the sea. That's, that's their goal. So this whole idea that Biden administration and some of the Democrats are, are, are propagating about them trying to have a ceasefire, it's, it's Hamas that's refusing a ceasefire. Israel needs to take out Hamas and make sure that they're ne never able to commit an October 7th style attack ever again. And the hostages, unfortunately, I think there's a hundred plus left in Israel and some of them are unfortunately <laughs> dead, but we need to recover the bodies and recover all the hostages. Yeah. And we need to, the United States needs to help out Israel in whatever way possible. Colonel, you got 20 seconds here with this air sure. uh, drone strike to this Hamas leader here. Netanyahu yeah. said they're going after everybody and they're not going to stop. I think this was Thank like you. you already pointed out. Step one, he right. means business yeah. right now. Yeah. So that's going to happen and it should. Uh, the Hamas leadership are living at large, drinking champagne and, and having caviar and cutter and allowing the Palestinian people carry their water and suffering. So it's it's long overdue for a reckoning. Very well said. Hamas leaders living at large in Qatar. Abe Hamadeh, Tony Schaefer, thanks so much.